Good evening, good evening, my name is Robert and I try things. On Sundays I try most of the time whatever I want to. Recently I've been trying to work my way through my backlog of games. There are over 40 games here. Yeah, so there are 46 items on the list. One of them is end stream instantly. So that makes it really 45. Uh, and then a couple of them are not actually games. One is a laser cut model build which is this rover here. Uh, and then one is working on some cross stitch. So that takes three off the list. So that makes 43 games <laughs> that I have in my back. Oh, sorry, 42 because Destiny 2 is on the list and it's just something I like to play. So 42 things on the list. Let me scroll. Hold on, this is incorrect. Fucking go. Okay. I got it a little off. Hi, Ariel. And we owe. <coughs> Ooh, woo. Exclamation mark, Kitty. Here's Lily. Count the number of times the cats have shown up on stream. <clears throat> I was just looking through the list of things to play. There are 42. 42 things on uh the list that we could play just clocked out of work yes lily i know you want to be like right up in front of me you want to be the center of attention you also want to sniff my white russian for whatever reason probably just because it's there because it's had my mouth on it so it's gonna you know smell like my mouth um i have apple slices these are gala apples, although I sliced it a few days ago, so it's gotten mealy. I sent it with Paige uh, to work for lunch, and she didn't eat all of it, and so I'm trying to uh, eat it, and it's it's kind of mealy, but... Mm. Excuse me. It's better than the ice cream I had uh, 45 minutes ago. It's better than drinking a White Russian, which I'm also doing anyway. How was your weekend, Ariel, and anybody who was there, uh, who is there? Uh, we did very little this weekend. We went to Sonic yesterday. Uh, if you get five double quarter quarter pound double cheeseburgers, if you get five of them, they become two dollars each. Corey and you are getting the PC built tomorrow. Yes, I saw that score. Got all your parts. Woot! Yay! Turnip boy robs a bank. That is on my list. It's not a very likely option. I mean, it's got the same chance as everything else. Uh, but if it does land on that, I'm not going to play that tonight until you get the chance to. Uh, for sure. Um, so we went to Sonic yesterday just to get the burgers and Page wanted tots and a limeade. Uh, and then today we did almost nothing. Except we undecorated the tree. We took down the tree. Your work just had a 99 cent sale all weekend, so it's been very chaotic. We did what was on... How many things were 99 cents? I imagine quite a lot. It's a grocery store. Hmm. Um, so many things. Things that are, okay. Things that are normally like two and three dollars or things that are normally like 10 and more dollars or like two pages in your weekly ad were dedicated to it. Gotcha, gotcha. Maybe I should have looked at ours. It's, it's literally the closest grocery store we have, but it's their prices are higher overall uh, versus Dylan's, and their uh, rewards points are just different and so slightly confusing. Things that are normally two to five. Okay. But still, like 99 cents for things that are normally that you're, you're saving the, a lot. Um, I'm hoping peanut butter goes on sale this week uh, because occasionally they'll do the 12 or 16 no that weighs way more than that 20 ounce i don't know the smaller jars of peanut butter of kroger brand peanut butter are normally like two dollars i think so uh when they go on sale for 99 cents they are gone they just knew peanut butter was one of the things on sale this weekend great i missed my chance uh whatever i'll get some on friday or if it's like not even like i don't know see okay 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 this is going to be really weird. I eat a lot of peanut butter. 
I have for like 20 years. I eat a lot of peanut butter. I eat it straight out of the jar. It's one of the things that makes me happy. Uh, it's one of the things that also makes me fat. But, um, so the, the best value per weight is the giant 40 ounce um, hubs, basically. Um, and now is that weight or volume? It's gotta be weight. Yeah, I think it's weight. The giant 40 ounce jars, I guess you'd call them. Those are the best value per weight. However, by the time I'm like scooping out of the bottom, my entire hand and half my arm is in the jar and it makes a mess. And it's, it's not actually super convenient at that point. And so I've been buying the smaller ones that are more expensive per ounce, but they're way more convenient. And that's basically your trade off. Uh, the more convenient something is, the more expensive it's going to be, especially if it's at like literally a convenience store, like at a gas station, you're paying for the convenience. It's also regional. You've learned like you're at this store there, but then in the town you used to live in, it didn't have that sale. Oh, okay. So, well, let me, let me glance at my app and see if it has anything about that. I don't need to log in right now. I just want to see the ad. View the ad. Apparently you have to log in to view the ad. So screw that. Not that important to me. Okay. Uh, so the peanut butter, I talked about the peanut butter. We got the tree undecorated. We got my bookshelf or I got my bookshelf undecorated like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> I was undecorating it for a couple of minutes before I hit the go live button. Uh, which undecorating it means taking off the one string of lights and taking down the Mickey's clock shop and then putting things back where I want them to be. That's it. That's what the undecorating was. You just check the website, at least there. It makes you select the city store. Just makes you... Well, I mean, it's too late. It doesn't really matter at this point. I'll just go to Dylan's on Friday like I normally do. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I need to cook more potatoes. Potatoes have the highest satiety index of any food measured, uh, which they only they measured this study back in the 80s or 90s. I can't remember measured uh, and developed what's called the satiety index, S-A-T-I-E-T-Y, meaning how much does a certain food sate you over time, uh, satisfy you over time. And the highest satiety index was potatoes. You stay fuller longer after eating potatoes so you're less likely to eat things other things after eating the potatoes or for longer after eating the potatoes so i should cook more potatoes i i haven't because they're starchy and you know relatively higher ish calories and whatever but if you're eating less afterward that you know it balances out so i should really cook more potatoes i also learned or I think in one of my science textbooks, I can't remember which one, that um, if you cube up potato and, you know, take off the skin and um, whatever, and then you cube up an apple in the same way and then blindfold somebody and feed them one or the other, more or less, they're not going to be able to tell the difference because they're consi raw potato, by the way. They're a very, very similar consistency. Um, carrot, or excuse me, apple and raw potato. And neither one has uh, enough flavor or scent all by themselves in, you know, like a one centimeter cube uh, to really trigger very much of a flavor uh, in your tongue and even in your nose. So I don't know why that's useful. I don't know why that got measured, but it's a thing. Okay, I have no beverages or snacks to try. I've tried Vegemite and Marmite and they're down there. Uh, yeah, I got nothing. There's nothing in the fridge. There's a honey bun. There's a honey bun in the fridge, an iced honey bun, which I've definitely had several of those <laughs> before. What is my phone dinging about? My brother-in-law. His new Animal Crossing Island is called Draw Pickle. I don't know what that means. I don't know why he sent that to me. 
I don't know. I don't have Animal Crossing. I've never played Animal Crossing myself. I've done some things for Paige, some like daily activities for Paige, but I've never played Animal Crossing myself. Why is he sending me that? I sent him a video that I saw. Uh, he plays Super Smash Brothers Ultimate on the Switch, um, and he plays fairly competitively. He used to be uh, in the top... I can't remember whether it was the top 3% of players or the top 300 players. I can't remember. My brain, I have dyscalculia, so numbers are a little bit flexible <laughs> in my head. Um, but he's he's pretty good at Smash Ultimate. And I sent him this video of where uh, Minecraft Steve was fighting Pac-Man. And apparently, I've never actually seen this or played this myself, Minecraft Steve has a move where he hops in the mine cart and then if he hits a block that he placed previously, he'll bounce off it faster and do more damage if he hits another player. And this guy placed two blocks and then hopped in his mine cart and went between these two blocks. And the blocks, you know, take damage as you do that. And then eventually the one on this side broke and he went flying toward the Pac-Man player, and then he hit the Pac-Man and insta-kill. The Pac-Man had 4% damage. That is almost no damage um, done to the Pac-Man. And insta-kill, no recovery, not even nothing. And so uh, I sent that to Brian. He says, hmm, I've never seen that before. I wonder if that's valid in competition. <laughs> ah. By the way, uh, in-laws, Paige's sister and brother-in-law, and therefore children, are back in the States. They are back uh, over in D.C. for his new job. They were in uh, Morocco for a year. That was interesting for them, but also mildly inconvenient. They had a housekeeper who cooked, I think, one meal for them each day. And some of the pictures they would send about the experiments where she's cooking like, you know, traditional Moroccan stuff a lot of the time. And the kids are like, eh. they wouldn't outright be like, eh, eh, you know, throwing fits about it because they're like the most well-behaved children I've ever seen in my life. Uh, but they were definitely skeptical. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to put something in chat. Death Definitely, D-E-F-I-N-I-T-E-L-Y, not definitely or defiantly. It's definitely, meaning it has the quality of being definite. Now. I can understand that first misspelling definitely because it is phonetic and English is going to go that way. I promise you, I promise you within a hundred years, almost everything is going to be spelled phonetically. English is going to have some kind of standardization as far as phoneticism goes for spellings and spelling bees are going to be less of a thing because English is not a language. English is three languages stacked in a trench coat. Um, English is a conglomeration of uh, Latin, French and German more or less. And um, let's see. I, I heard it described as English is what happens when Norsemen learn Latin to yell at Germans. Okay, so maybe it's Nordic Latin and German. There's there's a lot of French in there too. English is, is not a language. English is a conglomeration of language. English is a uh, language mashup. It's a, uh, what's it called? A language casserole. And so the spellings of things and the pronunciation of things don't always match up. And so definitely with an A is incorrect, but phonetically it's more correct than definitely. Also, the pronunciation of definitely has changed. Um, Definite means D 
finite. If you break it down, it's definite, meaning it's not, wait, something about finite. I don't know what the D means, actually. What are you guys fighting about? Charlie, James. Charlie made James hiss. Charlie and James get along really well. I have pictures. Hold on. Let me find these pictures. I have a whole automatic album for the cats on Google Images. Okay, so here's all three of them. All three of them snoozing or looking at me. On Paige's chair on her blanket. They like laying on her blankets. Uh, but James and Charlie lay together a lot. There we go. Like this. James looks like what's going on but no he he put himself there more or less and then charlie like hugged him and licked him and whatever but like james is there on purpose james is there voluntarily james goes and lays next to charlie look here we go look at this look at these boys i just i get so happy about my cats james loaf on the cat tower and then he gargoyles on the food box. I need to do something with these um, ice cube trays because I originally got them. I was going to screw them onto a board and have the cats have to like hunt their food out of the ice cube trays rather than the, the other board thing I had put together there. <laughs> James judging me for my giant stack of books. James also likes shoving his face in my shoes or slippers, whatever smelled like my feet. There we go. See, look at them holding hands. Okay, I might be a little bit tipsy. So let's spin the wheel. Let's figure out what we're going to be playing first tonight, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to play multiple games. Unless something just like... I gotta play, like, all of this. Okay, Human Resource Machine on Epic. Let us find this. Get that installed. I don't need a shortcut. I'm just gonna launch it through uh, Epic once, basically. Ooh, that's installing really fast. Not a very large game. Let me change my category here. Update that category and get that launched. Give that a try. Tomorrow Corporation. Yes, please select your employee ID. I have your photo here somewhere. Which one is yours? I'll be the guy with blue hair. Yes, that photo looks just like you. Here is your badge. Please proceed to the elevator. So I start in the mail room, and then I've got all of this going on. Ends program, congratulations. Wait, is this about programming? Oh, man. Oh, man. Just got an ad for Taco Bell. I haven't had Taco Bell in a little while. I want some Taco Bell soon. Welcome to your first day. You look like an excellent instruction follower. Your first job will appear over there on the right side in a moment. Remember, you can always ask me for help. Grab commands into this area to build a program. Your program should tell your worker to grab each thing from the inbox and drop it into the outbox. Okay. Inbox, then outbox, and then run it. Not enough stuff in the outbox. Management expected a total of three items, not one. Oh, okay. Inbox, inbox, inbox. Outbox. Hold on. Wait, no. Inbox, outbox, inbox, inbox. Okay. Okay, there we go. That was a simple line by trying to cut back on eating out. Otherwise, you consider it. Yeah. Yeah. Their presence is requested on the night, uh, next floor. The busy mail room. Meaning I'm going to need to make a loop. 
Looks like the, uh, well, looks like you've made it this far. Congratulations on your promotion. Most people stress out and quit before making it this far, but I can tell you have a bright future in inbox outbox management. Here's your new assignment. Grab each thing from the inbox and drop each one into the outbox. You've got a new command. You can grab jumps arrow to jump to different lines within your program. With this new ability, you can complete this assignment using only three total commands. Okay. Inbox, outbox, jump. There. Just keep going. Boot sequence. But there's no termination value to the loop. Oh no, the inbox conveyor system is completely broken. But that doesn't mean we get to take a break from work. Ignore the inbox for now and just send the following three letters to outbox. B, e, U, and G. Okay. Copy from B, outbox. Copy from U, outbox. Copy from G, outbox. Ta-da! Hey, yo, Addy! It's Addy the Batty! Addy the Batty! Happy Sunday, Addy. Happy almost Monday, unfortunately. I like the little... the. I learned from you and from Rubinsky the little O, and then I see the, the arm up like, hi, and then Rubinsky does the seven, which is a salute. The conveyor system is fixed and just in time for you to get to work. The data won't collate itself. Okay, grab the first two things from the inbox and drop them into the outbox in the reverse order. Repeat until the inbox is empty. Hmm. Got a new command. Feel free to copy to wherever you like on the carpet. It will be cleaned later. Just learned what the 07 meant uh, this past month. Yeah, uh, I learned that sometime last year from Rubinsky, who is not here, unfortunately, right now. What you been up to this weekend? We undecorated the very few things that we decorated. We took down the tree and then we undecorated, or I undecorated the bookshelf behind me. That's all, all the decorations we had out. Okay, uh, so inbox, copy to there. Inbox, copy to here, and then copy from, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, I don't need to copy anything. Outbox. And then copy from, there we go, there. And then outbox and then jump back up to here. That should do it, right? Today's your one day off, so you're doing diddly squat. Hey, goodbye decorations till next seasons. Like, Christmas is all we decorate for. Uh, no, no, never mind. We have a handful of things that we put out for Halloween just to let trick-or-treaters know that, hey, we have candy. Okay, give this a try. Did we do it? Hey! I win. Coffee time. Year five. Back to work, everyone. Oh, it's voiced. Interesting. Regions of the city continue to experience power failure. Local authorities are investigating. Uh-oh, we're about to experience a power failure. Rainy summer. Uh, welcome to my personal rain cloud. 
I was never very good at math, since I have only three fingers on each hand. Uh, but I hear you don't actually need to know much about math to complete these assignments. Okay, for each two things in the inbox, add them together and put the result in the out box. Okay, you got a new command. It adds the contents of a tile on the floor to whatever value you're currently holding. Okay, so inbox, copy to here. Inbox, add this one. And then outbox, and then we're going to jump back around. That's not going to be right, is it? Oh! I don't think... I don't think that actually answered the qualifications. I think I did that wrong, but hey, I made it. <laughs> through. Okay, do I want to go to the tripler room or to the zero exterminator? Let's go to the tripler room. Just to see. For you, this optional area is for high performing employees only. Is that you? Well, you're late. Seven years late. We need to make some changes around here. I want to see a 100% performance increase. From this point, your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. For each thing in the inbox, triple it and outbox the result. Self-improvement tip. Where are we going with this? Please leave the high-level decisions to management. Management. Okay. So we're going to inbox. And we're going to copy to here. And then we're going to add this to it and then add it to it again. And then we're going to outbox and then start over. Right? Okay, so that's not exactly right. So we pick something up, put it there, and then we're gonna add it to, we're gonna copy it there, we're gonna add it to what we're already holding. And then... Copy from, this is not gonna, I don't have anything that allows me to pick up the thing and add it. You know what? Oh, that's right, because we're replacing the thing that was there originally. Okay, that works then. Oh, hey, use six or fewer commands. Lead in 24 or fewer steps. Cool. Octoplier Suite. Yes, you can always check your own performance on each assignment's optimization challenges. The two green lights next to each button in the elevator will tell you how you're doing. Is there anything in life more thrilling than self-improvement? Okay, for each thing in the inbox, multiply it by eight and put the results in the outbox. Using a bunch of ad commands is easy, but wasteful. Can you do it using only three ad commands? Management is watching. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the thing from the outbox, copy it to here, gonna add it to what we've got, and then we're gonna copy that same thing back to this, so now it's doubled. And then, gonna add it again, and then do the same thing one more time. And then outbox it, and then jump. Is that right? Did I do it? Hey, hey, I did it. Hey, score. <laughs> Petra Contiplier. Okay. This is more fun than I was expecting it to be. What a wonderful feeling when all your work over the last few years all comes together and culminates in a well-executed assignment. For each thing in the inbox, multiply it by 40, put the results in the outbox. Okay, 
So we got a pickup, we got a copy to here, got to add it to this, and then we're gonna copy there again, and then add it to that. So 40. So that does eight, multiplies it by eight. So this is gonna multiply by So three is eight, so it's two, four, eight. So 16. Okay, so. I need actually to change this one to this. And then I need Back to here, and we're gonna add, and then we're back to here, and then add, and then add this, and then out box, and then start over. Maybe? Is that right? Did I do it? Oh my gosh, I got it! Oh, 15 commands. 60 steps. Okay, well, whatever. I made it through, it just wasn't super optimized. I can think of ways that I might have been able to optimize that a little bit, but I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Zero exterminator. Where do you see yourself in five years? Or 10 years? I have a note here from your other boss that says, from this point on, your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. What a treat. Okay, send all things to the outbacks that are not zero. You you got a new command. It jumps only if the value you are holding is zero. Otherwise, it continues to the next line. Okay, so I need to grab the thing from the end box. If zero, I need to tell me more. Yeah, give me an example. Grand box is blah blah blah. Your outbox should be whatever. Yeah, no, that's like I get it. But okay, jumps only. The value you're holding is zero. Otherwise, it continues to the next line. So if it's zero, so if it's zero, no, that's not right. If the value you're holding is zero, it will start over. And if it's not, then just send it to the outbox, and then we do a regular old loop here. That should do it, right? There we go, I didn't need the middle thing anymore, at all. Four commands, 23 steps, yeah! Zero preservation initiative. Okay, come to our attention that the zero advocacy community Felt that the previous assignment was not inclusive. This time, send only zeros to the outbox. Okay, grab it from the inbox. If it's zero, it needs to go to the outbox. Otherwise, start over. That should be it. What? No, hold on. So we're grabbing a thing. If it is zero, ah, crap. Okay, okay. 
Oh, that should do it. Okay, nope, never mind. Maybe that. Okay, nope. Okay, you're gonna have to go, okay. Me too, so we're grabbing the thing from the inbox. Grab the thing from the inbox, then... If it is zero... Needs to go to the out box. If it's not zero, go back around and start again. No. the zeros to the outbox. So, we gotta pick it up. And we gotta decide whether it's zero. If it is zero, it needs to go to the outbox. feeling really dumb right now because I'm sure there's a really simple explanation here. If it is, if it's not zero, we need to actually go back to the inbox. If it is zero, Okay, and then we just do the whole thing again. What? What did it do with the Z? No, okay, no, that's not right. I feel so dumb right now. Okay, let's pick it up from the inbox. is zero. Okay, so... But I can't put nothing into the outbox.
That's not gonna work, is it? No, nope, because it's going directly to the outbox. I feel really dumb right now. this okay I gotta look this up yeah just give me a list I don't need I don't need a what's it called What's it called? A video. All right. not okay no this is not working for me So this person cheated. They went like this. They did it manually. Then we have a jump up here. And a jump is zero. Here. And what an inbox here. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Jumps can go down. They never told me that. Okay. Shit. Okay, inbox. Jump down to here if zero. So outbox. And then jump back up here. They never told me I could go. Hold on. What? Fine, fine, I'll do it this cheaty way. Inbox, inbox. There's an outbox and another inbox. And then an outbox. And then we've got a jump of zero. And then a jump. And then this is gonna go like this. And then this one will go back over here. And a jump that goes back up to here. That was a cheaty way. Whatever, I don't care about the size. Sub hallway. I don't know what A and B and C are. Oh, 
Attraction? Never learned that in school, did you? We're a good team. Okay, for each two things in the inbox, first subtract the first from the second and put the result in the outbox. And then subtract the second from the first and put the result in the outbox. Repeat. Subtract the first from the second. Okay. So I need an inbox. And then copy two here. And then back to the inbox and subtract this from what I'm holding and then go to the outbox and then subtract the second from the first and put the result in the inbox. Actually, yeah, okay, this needs to actually be copied to here. Subtract that and then send it to the outbox. Now copy from one. Nope, nope, nope. Copy from zero. And so, nope, that's not right. Hold on. First from the second. and then second from the first. So then we're gonna subtract one. Go to the outbox, and then start over. Cool. Forty steps, sweet. Oh boy, oh boy! I don't think I can ever get through all of this. All right, equalization room. Sometimes some numbers are bigger than other numbers, and sometimes they are the same. How can we? Whatever. I don't know. I read about that here in this great book. Which number are you for the aspirational zero? You can borrow it later. Okay. Get two things from the inbox. If they are equal, put one of them in the outbox. Discard non-equal pairs. Repeat. You got comments. You can use them if you like to mark sections of your program. Okay. Okay, I, I don't need that. Okay, grab from the inbox. I'm gonna place it there. And then we'll grab from the inbox. And we're gonna place it there. We're gonna... No, don't actually need that. And then subtract what I'm holding. Subtract, yeah, this from what I'm holding. If it's zero... zero zero, we're going to copy from here, sure, and go to the outbox. And then we're just going to redo the whole thing. And if it's not zero, we're going to go back to the beginning, theoretically. Four. Subtract four from three. If it's zero, no. The 
that work? Did it do it? Hey! Win, win, win! I did one too many steps, though. I really don't care about getting all the challenges. I made it through. That's all I cared about. Okay, maximization room. Okay. There's been a change of plans. The accounting department has determined that treating all numbers equally is no longer profitable. Management wants the big numbers only. Grab two things from the inbox and put only the bigger of the two in the outbox. If they're equal, just pick either one. Repeat. Got a new command. Jumps only if the thing you're holding is negative, less than zero. Otherwise, continues to the next line. Okay. Okay. So. Grab from the inbox. And we're gonna place it here. And then we're gonna grab from the inbox. And we're gonna subtract this from what I'm holding. If what I've got is negative, that means that what is there, what's on zero, is bigger. So that means I need to copy from zero and take it to the out box. If it's not bigger, then I need to take what I've got to the out box. And then I need to do the whole thing over again. Theoretically? Bad outbox. Management expected five, but you outboxed zero. So, hold on. So, two there. Grab that. Zero. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, then need to copy from here and take that to the outbox. Negative six. Hold on, no, that's not good. No. One is bigger than negative six. That's not right. One is bigger than negative six. Positive one is higher than negative six. That's not right.
So... Alright. So we're gonna get an inbox, we're gonna copy to zero. Now we'll get an inbox, and we will subtract zero from what we're holding. And jump if negative. Down. If I'm reading this correctly. So we're going to grab what we've got. We're going to copy it to here. We're going to grab the second thing. We're going to subtract what we're holding from what's here. If it's negative, we're going to go all the way down. That's not right. Oh, we're going to take it to the outbox. No, that's not right. Jump in to B. I think that's right. I think I'm reading this right. Did that work? Okay, we got it. Okay, I think these may be the last ones I try. Employee morale insertion. Now we get insertion commands. Great. And that, ladies, is how I saved a bundle on my long distance telephone service. <laughs> Back to work, everyone. I hear a foghorn. A massive army of machines has surrounded the city. The machines are not moving, and they are not communicating. Local authorities are investigating. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so they have them in images. So I can go back to that separately. So we're gonna try the exclusive lounge. Been here 17 years. Yes, I've always felt most comfortable with nice, cold, logical decisions. Emotional decisions are for the weak. For each two things in the inbox, send a zero to the outbox if they have the same sign, both positive or both negative. Send a one to the outbox if their signs are different. Repeat until the inbox is empty. Okay. Okay. Same sign. So we're going to grab something from the inbox. And we're going to subtract zero. No, that's not right. And we're going to copy it to zero. Grab from the inbox. I'm going to copy two. One. Probably actually not necessary.
You know what? I'm done. I give up. I'm tired. I give up. Bye bye. Yeah, that was. I just hate puzzle games because they make me feel so stupid. Damn it. I did not mean to open Vortex. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Spin it again. See what we get. It's currently 807. The Chad. Oh yeah. Where, 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 where? The Chad. Okay, so take off the and it's okay. <laughs> so this is a stupid third person runner gunner thing. Uh. I, I don't know if it's like adult content, but there's like, you might want to be older than 13 or 16 to watch this or play this. The Chad. Okay. It's a low poly. <laughs> One person follows this game. One single person. Do I get to play with the controller? Wasn't designed to support controllers. Okay. Play game. <laughs> I've been excited, I'll say, about trying this since I saw this random stupidity uh, in my discovery queue on Steam. All right. You are the Chad. My goal is that way. I don't have any moves yet. T to talk. How you doing, young gangsta? Youngesta? Pretty good, old man. Not bad, but it seems you may have a sip problem. I am Chad. Use the left mouth mouse button to... Oh, oh, okay. I am Chad. All right, Chad. Let's see what you got. Take out those simps. I am Chad. So that's a simp. Hold on. My... Mouse sensitivity. Graphics are going to be cinematic. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on, my frame rate died a little bit. Okay. Okay, so my mouse sensitivity can't come down at all. Okay. My frame rate is back up. Whoa, okay. I am on fire. I am Chad. So, what are you pointing at? What do I do? Right now, all I can do is move. What? I don't hear any music. That's a lot of freaking muscles. Okay. So my goal is... What do we got here? What is that? Okay, I healed up a little bit. Can't even jump yet. What do I do? Okay, that's not where I need to go. Okay, apparently for now, we're just getting past all the simps. There we go. I got a punch skill. Description. Chad throws a swift hook in front of him to incapacitate enemies and launch specific objects in the opposite direction. Hint. Fist meets metal. Metal goes flying. Metal meets stone. Stone no more. Okay. Don't hit me.
Ooh. Okay. So I can probably punch the dumpster into the simps, right? No? Oh no, back this way. What even is this? Let's talk to this guy. How can I help you out, Chad? How do I get to the simps? The old man said to take them out. Simps are always on the other side of these trucks. Give them a good hook whack, and I know you can get them out of the way. Who knows? You may find something in the process. Why does only one truck move? Whatever. Okay. What even is this? Got him. What even? Got him. Come and get me, simps. Destroyed the shrine. Okay, so that way is my goal. Cooldown reduction, 3%. I don't... How do I get the reduction? What does it even really do? Alright, old man. I am Chad. So, unflavored coffee creamer, kind of gross, kind of gross. All right, old man, what's next? Welcome, brother. This is my other spot here at the outdoor mall. I am Chad. All right, Chad, you know what to do. Go destroy those shrines. Be careful, though. There are many thoughts here as well. I am Chad. So are they, like, moving forward when I punch them, and then that, that's where they end up? That's where they go?
Okay, wants me to go this way. I was nowhere near the fire, honestly. Is that a grenade, like a flashbang? No, it's a protein shank. Press F to drink. Well, that didn't do anything. Stomp. Description. Chad strikes the ground with his foot, incapacitating capacitating nearby enemies, destroying certain objects and launching other objects around him upwards. Hint. Give a quick foot-fist combo. That may do the trick. Okay. Right mouse button. I can help you out, Chad. I am Chad. You got this, Chad. I am Chad. Back alley over there seems kind of suspicious. I would start there. Am I not supposed to be able to get them? I don't know what the uh, protein powder is supposed to do. Is it, does it heal me? Is it a healing thing I can bring with me? I think that's just indicating that the shrine is on the other side of that wall. Don't need to heal yet. Thoughts be gone. Wow, that took him out pretty quickly. Be gone, thought. Got the shrine, run. Oh, there's another shrine? Question mark.
Be gone, thought. Er, wait a minute. There we go. There's a shrine. not getting me where I need to be. Oh, that way, probably. Nope. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's an opening in the fence. I have no idea what is supposed to be happening here. We Game saved! And I got another protein shake. Apparently, that's the maximum I can have. Run! Oh, wow. Simpson thoughts. Okay, so I can only carry... Oh, I can carry four or more. Did I just hear the Taco Bell bong? Run, Chad, run! You want a war? I'll give you a war you wouldn't believe. It's the old dude! Good job, let's head out. I am Chad. Okay, we tried the Chad! I've been so curious about this ever since I saw it. It's free on Steam, by the way, if you want to try it. I will wait till it loads in to close the game. Okay. There we go. That was the Chad. <laughs> okay. There we go. That was the Chad. About 15 minutes worth. There we go. We'll spin one more time. Rumbleverse on Epic. Okay. 
that. The full library. Thank you. Hold on. Did it get removed? It's not here, right? Did I not actually... I think it's been removed from the Epic Game Store because it's not even showing up in the store. Hold on. Yeah, I'm getting a 404 even on a browser. So I guess it's been removed. That's unfortunate. Okay. Spin it one more time. Eratus. It looks like a... Uh... Don't need a shortcut. Thank you. I forget what it was like. Go to the store page. It's like a, like a dungeon management. Turn-based tactical roguelike. It's kind of like got cards for attacking. Now, show me the gameplay. Give me the gameplay trailer, not the cinematic trailer. There we go. Lead an army of undead to help an angry necromancer in his quest to reach the surface world and bring death to the mortal realms. So I'm the bad guy. Okay. At least it actually exists. Just waiting for it to install. There it is. The Chad. <laughs> Data Lake. There have been so many Data Lake games free on Epic. Life is a disease. A millennium ago, a supreme necromancer was on the verge of conquering the world. But you know what they say about best laid plans. Inevitably, Hero shall emerge. So, I was made dead. Again. But what does death really mean for somebody who has mastered it? Somebody? No, someone. Oh, An eternity to ponder my errors and how close I came to victory. I am a mortal. But when this world ends, even I will know oblivion. So he wants to truly die. Interesting. And so I ask myself, will I be given another chance to rise before it happens? Another oh, maybe not. chance to fulfill my ambition. Ah, it seems that fate has smiled after all. Opening cutscene. Hardcore. Tactical roguelike. This game is difficult, and your minions will likely die, and don't think they're expendable just because they're already dead. <laughs> Every fight is a challenge, and resources are always limited. Enemies are strong and show no mercy toward their undead opponents. You will need to play smart and adjust your strategies for different encounters and enemy types. In short, be prepared to spend several hours mastering the game to achieve victory and bring death to the mortal lands. 
Okay. Bring the brightness up just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, cakewalk. I want easy. I just want to see what the game is about. Evil has returned. The dread necromancer Eratus has again attained his freedom after a millennia of imprisonment, and the miners gathered around his tomb still do not know the mortal danger they have stumbled upon. Their bodies will lay the foundation for an army of the dead that will conquer the world. Rise. Okay, after a millennia. Millennia is plural. So just after millennia or after a millennium. It, that's that's not how millennium and millennia work. So obviously written by non-native English speakers or uneducated English speakers. English speakers. Each minion has five basic abilities and one ultimate ability. To use an ultimate ability, you need a special resource, Wrath. Minions and enemies can use a cert can use certain abilities only from specific positions and with specific targets. That's not helpful. Okay. I don't know what the skulls and the helmets mean. Smite. It's a physical attack. It attacks twice, dealing 50% damage per attack. Performs additional attacks for each buff on the target. Deals 100% damage. And ignores armor. Four ahead? Let's do that. Nothing fancy about my strikes. Physical and magic damage reduce the target's vigor. Igniting deals instant man magic damage to the target and true damage at the start of their turn. Stress damage increases decreases the sanity of the target. Cursing a target will deal stress damage at the start of its turn. Critical hits by your minions increase decrease enemy sanity. Enemy critical hits will increase it. I don't know what the skulls and the helmets mean. Please explain. They decrease their attack. Okay, insanity weakens the enemy. Inspiration strengthens the enemy. Death. Receiving any amount of stress damage while at zero sanity can lead to instantaneous death. At low levels of sanity, an enemy on the outermost position of the combat row has the chance to flee from combat. Okay. Yeesh. Shift will kill me before you do. All right. I don't know what the, the skulls and the helmets mean. Whatever, kill this guy. Born was your first mistake. Opposing me? <laughs> your last. He's at zero sanity. Why does he get to go twice? That's not fair. He did. We win. I don't know what any of this means. Okay, she got some experience. I presume that's what the bar means because hers is higher than his, the red level here. Got some dust, some weapons, some armor, some blood, some bones, some ectoplasm, flesh, skull, heart, and rags. How are there three hearts and three skulls when there were only two dudes? Unless one of the dudes was carrying a heart. Okay, I have a goal over here to create any two minions. I presume, yeah, that's what this over here means. What is this? Talents. Okay, fine. Let's create minions. 
After gathering parts from his defeated foes, Eratus can create new minions for his army. Using parts of uncommon, rare, or legendary quality increases the amount of stat points of the created minion. With time, Eratus will uh, acquire new minion recipes as well as various combat tactics. Alright, so these are the ones that are unlocked currently. Okay. Okay. So I can have up to four combatants on the field at a time. Water troop. Mobile artillery shooting cannons. Uses only the best part. Singular part. Only one part. Rather than parts. Definitely, definitely written by non-native English speakers. I am just getting that feeling now. The night... Banshee. I've already got one of these. I want a wraith. The path is signed. Let's hope there was no fine print. And yeah, do a bride. To start combat, open them up. Why can't I create more? Yeah, I've got more stuff. I will craft a knight. Just to have it. And then that'll be it. Okay. The kingdom had need of the vast riches buried underneath the castle. Great veins of iron that promised to fuel conquest after conquest, along with ancient artifacts from a long-forgotten age. The dwarves were eager to offer their services in this product, project, bringing their untested mining equipment and experimental concoctions for the promise of wealth. They only needed bodies that could obey and the humans, and that the humans could provide. Uh, with dungeons filled to the brim with both criminals and rebels, there was no shortage of slaves to work these mines. Drugs were used to keep them docile as they dug ever deeper, year after year, unaware of the mortal danger that awaited them below. Okay, let's go battle. Choose a battle squad. Okay, so I choose a squad and then go battle. Some enemies possess unique features that either strengthen or weaken them. Study the features of your minions and your enemies so that you can fight more effectively. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Uh. Okay. Why does this guy look like Kratos? Okay, so it's the skeleton's turn. Why can't I... Why are only these highlighted? Because it's ranged, I guess? Okay, physical attack. What are these spells? Let's kill the Taskmaster. There you go. You're out of block, and you're out of 
Whatever that was. Yeah, let's reduce all of their attack. Hey. When the Taskmaster dies, his allies recover 30 sanity. Oh, so maybe I need to save him. All right. No damage. This is my kind of entertainment. Murderer. Okay. I don't know, I'm just gonna keep clicking them because I'm not very strategic right now. My strategy is at the level of like, first and second generation Pokemon. He did. And we're just gonna attack this guy until he dies. You can't move. Uh, you weren't supposed to be able to move, damn it. There we go, we won. As your suffering ends, your service begins. After winning a battle, Erratus receives rewards. Digger's souls used to construct and improve buildings at the graveyard. Parts needed to craft minions. Artifacts can increase the power of your minions and Erratus himself. Brains used to quickly increase the level of minions. And additionally, minions that did not participate in battle restore a small amount of vigor according to the difficulty level. Okay. Equip Erratus with an acquired artifact. There are four main types of artifacts. Weapons, armor, rings, and amulets. You will also encounter consumables. Such artifacts only apply for one battle, after which they are spent. At the beginning of the game, Erratus receives one random artifact. Okay, unlocks a secret destruction spell, one-time use. Deals 12 magic damage to all enemies, sets them on fire for three turns, dealing six damage per turn. So... Spell power improves the ignition effect by 2%, and it costs 22 mana. It embellishes my undead features, no? Okay. Select this team. Do I want to go this way? Okay. Place a power that can restore mana to Erratus or Vigor to minions. An ancient tomb containing dormant minions awaiting their time. Okay. I guess it depends on which way I want to go. Oh, or I can go to the sacrificial altar. Sacrificing minions, the riders to see parts, items, and a random consumable. Wow, this just goes on and on and on, doesn't it? Can I go backwards? Is that a thing? Doesn't appear so. Okay, so I guess... Let's go get some free minions. What do I want? A werewolf, a skeleton, or a knight? Let's do a werewolf. There we go. 
Alright, now we fight. I can't go backwards, it says. Or apparently. Erratus possesses the following stats and resources. Mana for magic, ire, and destruction trees. Restored after every victory. Through minion abilities or via certain encounters on the map. Wrath is needed to use ultimate abilities of your minions. Increases during combat and resets after combat ends. And spell power increases the effectiveness of Erratus, active Erratus talents. Erratus gains one spell power point for each level and can further increase via artifacts, talents, minion abilities, and more. It's a trap. Destroyed by certain abilities or overridden by another trap. Twenty two mana. No, that's not what I want. How, can I just do this? No. How do I cast this? How do I how do I use the scroll, damn it? Costs 22 mana, and I have 100, so I ought to be able to just cast this. Say hello to my burning friend. Okay, this guy didn't get burned, but cool. Alright, now... Skeleton is going to move forward when he attacks. That's a thing. What is this? Target gains a plus four armor and plus four resistance until the battle ends. Stacks up to three times. No, we're just gonna we're just gonna attack. Why did she get hit? Oh, she moved on to the trap space. Oops. Okay. Whenever an enemy moves, the Banshee deals such and such amount of damage to it. So it's a stance, okay. A stance is a type of ability that some minions and enemies can use in battle. It's a one-turn stance or an until the battle ends. Any stance can be cancelled via force movement or stunning, unless the description of the stance specifies otherwise. Okay. Alright. Deals damage and removes buffs and loses all initiative for one turn. Deals sanity damage to the enemies on the chosen position and the next position in line. Curses. Miss. He moved, so he gets attacked. All right, Flames of Love or Warning Shot. And it interrupts stances. Invalid target? Why is he an invalid target? Fine. So, okay. So he's buffed, means he gets plus 20 accuracy and increases his damage dealt by 20%. Marks a minion has a 100% chance to redirect any attack that targets the marked minion to itself. 
So it's like tanking. Okay. So they move, and she gets to attack because it moves, or not. Why are you buffed? I don't know. like the training dummies. Physical deals 50% damage and it's a critical. Oh nice. Just the Taskmaster left. Light him up! Of course. Take that sanity down. All right, so. Stress attack. That was stress damage. He should have insta died, although it says there's a chance of insta death. Okay. Fine. Stress damage. You're supposed to... Okay, fine. Whatever. Fine. Okay, just just kill the guy. There we go. A predictable outcome. You need to go unlock a new talent. Okay. Winning battles rewards Eratus with experience that increases his level. At each level, he receives talent points that can be used on the following ability trees. Alchemy uh, increases the efficiency of your minions and resource economy. Magic spells weaken foes and requires mana to use. Ire spells strengthen minions. And destruction deals direct damage to enemies, requires mana. Okay, so these first two seem the most effective to me. Minions receive plus three dread. Magic. Target minion moves two positions forward and receives plus 25 accuracy. One action. Minions game plus two initiative for two actions. Radis restores an additional five mana after each fight.
With knowledge and will comes victory. Hey, I want to show you a little magic trick. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, let's go to combat. All right, so I can go this way or this way. Hmm. Mythical chest containing artifacts. Nee. Items. Nee, it is Errant Knight. That is an intense looking gentleman. His name is Aratus. He is uh, a dread necromancer king guy who died uh, millennia, a millennia, a millennia, one single millennia, millennium, but the, the game said millennia ago. Okay, do I want to go fight and then go to the chest, or do I want to go directly over to the cultist who will give me some items and then fight? I can't go backwards. Once, once I pick a direction, I can't go back, so like... I had the option before of going this way, but I chose this way, so I can't go back over here, you know. Hmm. I can get a chest this way and go past the cultists. So let's do that. Let's go to the cultists. All right, pick a squad, then go to the cultists. Still a while. Yeah, yeah, a thousand years is not a short amount of time. Yeah, coffee's done. All right, skeleton becomes receptive to buffs, but still immune to debuffs. Oh, Banshee restores 20% vigor each time an enemy misses an attack against her. The bride. I'm increases. just here for the food. I'm just here for the food. Hi, Rubinsky. Both Aaron Knight and Rubinsky within like five minutes. Good evening. Happy Sunday. How was your weekend? What you guys been up to? What you doing? I didn't do hardly anything this weekend we undecorated the tree and i took down my christmas decorations from back here um i say decorations it was one string of lights and then the uh animatronic is a strong term for it but that's what i'm going to use clock shop the the mickey's clock shop um they sang simplified versions like 20 second long versions of christmas carols anyway I'm going to do this one. Okay. Now we fight. Housework. Dad's birthday. Watch Treasure Planet. Score one of the greatest movies of all time. High five. Air five. Friend fell asleep. That's why you're later than usual. Hey, hydrate or dihydrate. That's the first one I've seen, and I've been streaming for two hours now. Mm. Lost my cap. Found my cap. Okay. All minions gain plus two initiative for two actions. Cost 12 mana. Go ahead and cast that. No, I do not wish this. Why don't you wish this? Whatever. Okay, so this is the skeleton, and we are going to... We're going to buff the bride. No, no, no. Please, no more water. Are you, like, super-duper hydrated, Rubinsky? Have you been, like, peeing out the wazoo? All right. Hey, there's no overseer on this battle. I can just work through them one by one. I need you to scare the crap out of all of them. Which one was that? There we go. They all lose six attack. You refuse to drink water today, only coffee. Why? What have you been up to? Zero damage. Zero damage. Score. Light him up. 
Okay. Doesn't stat. That's fine, because it's a new turn. Okay. Okay, skeleton. You're gonna buff her again. Dead. Delivered. Dead. Delivered. Okay. Da, 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 da. Cool. Let us unsanitize. Unsanitize them. Zero damage. Then I will buff her one more time. Just cuz. Speed of thought. Alright, everybody, increase your initiative. Curse them! Decrease their attack. Bam! Okay, I just realized I've not done any damage to these guys in like two turns. Miss! Okay. Oh, that's right, the skeleton doesn't get buffs. I didn't get that item. Okay. Burn, baby! Burn! Just work through them one by one. <laughs> this never gets old. Nothing fancy about my strikes. Oh, she's been debuffed. And now let's just attack him. Their basic attacks. Miss. He did. I mean, a sad display for mortal kind. I got a talent point. Okay, improve a minion by using a brain. Okay, let us improve our banshee, sure. Minions can evolve and be improved in multiple ways. Leveling grants a minion stat and skill points. Entry level, every level a minion gets, uh, every level. A minion gets two stat points for improving stats. Every third level, a minion gets one skill point for upgrading abilities. Using parts of higher quality grants a minion additional stat points. Parts grafted onto a minion can be approved via Digger's Souls. Items provide your minions with additional features. Receiving buffs and debuffs from minions' items doesn't trigger any effects. Grafting a brain instantly gives a minion additional experience. Okay, so it wants me to use a brain. Improve a minion by using a brain. Crafting a brain. So this is an IQ level 2. I have an IQ level 6 brain. Okay, so we got to replace that. Okay. I go back to combat. What do you call a snobbish criminal going down the stairs? A condescending condescending. I am familiar with that one. I can't lie. Why are you only drinking coffee, Rubinsky? All right, so coffin filled with items, mythical chest containing artifacts. Artifacts are better.
Verses of Madness, minions gain plus 5 initiative but lose 15 accuracy. For each escaped enemy, Erratus additionally gains 25% of the experience from the current level. Uh, deals 50 plus 3, oops, magic damage. Additionally deals 100% magic damage if the target is stunned. Okay, so this is a spell. Oh, yeah, no, give me that. Okay. Let us go fight. Taskmaster that throws down a trap. You know what? Screw you, guy. What is this? Stress attack. So, what it hasn't explained is why some actions aren't available sometimes. So my mana doesn't recover in between battles? Okay. Whatever, we'll just start from the front. Hunky. Right, what is this? Yeah, we'll just attack him. The sooner we can get rid of guys, the... Uh, what's it called? Less damage they can possibly do each turn. Miss! Ten. Ugh. Oh, and then miss. Okay. Let's decrease all of their attack paths. Become part of the breathless tide. What is this? Okay, this costs wrath, but why can't I do this? Why do I have to do this one? I don't understand. I don't, it never explained what the skulls and the, uh, what's it called? Helmets mean. So. So does this mean that I can attack Coffee is yum yum juice. I mean, if it's flavored and creamed and sweetened. <laughs> okay, so does this mean that he can do this attack from either of the first two positions and he can attack any of the other four? And then this one means he has to be in either of the last two positions and he will move forward three. And then he can attack either of the first two and they will move back two. I think that's what that means. Okay. Miss. Five. No, nope, just kill him. Just attack. Miss. move, she attacks them and does psychic damage, basically. Oh, Hit them all. Kill. Oh, but it's psychic damage. He gets a third attack because the guy had a buff on it. Eesh. Yeah, she's probably going to die eventually. Why do they attack her first? Lower their attack. Please. Ah, 
Die. Yeah, let's crit all of them. It would be this easy. <laughs> Your skin will look so fine sewn upon me. Okay, only one dude left. Okay. Okay, kind of bored now. Mine is the winning side. All right, got talent points for Eratus. Build, construct a building in the graveyard. After attaining freedom, Eratus turned his prison into a base of operations. Graveyard buildings require minions and a special resource in order to construct them. Digger's souls. 50% chance for each minion working at the excavation site to find a random part. Applies after a victory, except quest battles. Requires a skeleton. I have a, I have a skeleton, right? Or do I have to go summon a skeleton and put it there? Okay, we'll put the skeleton there and we'll move the knight over here. I have 50 souls. Okay. Was there an effort to set me free sometime in the past? Regardless, these remains will be used as fuel for my growing army. My magic will shake the very foundations of this world. Now what? I gotta go do alchemy. Okay. Eratus is proficient in several alchemical disciplines. Transmutation. Transformation of one type of part into another. Distillation. Spend parts, brains, or items to gain vigor for minions. Extraction. Crafting items from valuable parts. And calcination. Spend parts, brains, or items to gain mana for Eratus. Okay, let's get some vigor. Well, I don't need vigor for all minions. Okay. All right, so give her an item. Increases her crit damage. But how do I heal her? Sure, let's... Yeah. Ah, okay. the smell of successful alchemy. <coughs> That's funny. All right. So I've got 25 digger souls. All right. So Erratus statue. And each minion restores 10 mana, applies after a victory. So I need a bride to put there. You know what? That's a good use for her. While the main purpose of this structure is to funnel magical energy, it also serves to provide some much-needed grandeur to my lair. Practical and pleasing. The grunge. Okay. All right, let's get some level. For minions or for Eratus. Minions 
Stereoratus or Aratus? Stereoratus. We'll do one more battle. You know what? This guy buffs all of them, and he recovers their sanity when he dies. But if I don't do sanity damage... Yeah, we'll just do him. Okay. Physical attack. Na -na -na, na -na 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 -na. That sounds good. That sounds good, too. Shoot. Werewolves are nice. All right. Buff everybody. Now, yeah, they get to go. Whatever. We are legion. Negative 30 accuracy. Okay, what does he get? Take out the Taskmaster first. Ooh, that was a crit. Nice. Now what is he debuffed? This is all initiative. That's stupid. Okay. And then that deals additional four to four damage for each buff or debuff on the target. Okay. Removes all debuffs from the Dark Knight. Deals 8% damage in the chosen position and the next position in line. Critical will deal 140% damage. Stance. Each time an enemy receives a buff, the Dark Knight deals whatever stress damage to it. Okay. We're just going to do this and... Yeah, we'll just do this. Wait, what now? Fine. Just debuff it. <laughs> Miss. Zero damage. Yeah, boy. I just don't have any DOT stuff. I'll just attack him. No, okay. Okay then. This one voided its bowels just as it died. All right. And 
and six. Zero damage, zero damage. Zero damage. Die. That's not. <sighs> Fine. I just want to kill them one by one. One. Looks like yeah, pathetic. All right, all right. Death comes for everyone. Zero damage. Unlucky. There we go. We win. Another step towards my eternal king. Got a level four brain. Graveyard events. Okay, so I got ten mana out of the graveyard. Cool. What do these plus signs mean? Does it mean they leveled up? So next on the dungeon is another battle and then an ancient coffin filled with items. And I've got another battle and then a choice. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much don't care. I made it through the tutorial. Okay. So we tried three games. Let's, oh, I didn't need to close Epic. Let's figure out, or let's look at what's going to be free on Thursday. Doors Paradox. This looks like an escape room game. A relaxing puzzle escape game. Make your way through a variety of handcrafted 3D dioramas. Look for useful objects, find hidden clues, and solve fun puzzles. Unravel this mysterious adventure about chaos, order, and the surreal. So they're little puzzle diorama box things. chess figure, so it's a queen. Clock face, clock hands. Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay. That'll be interesting. So that's what we're going to do on Thursday. So it's it's puzzle puzzle boxes, puzzle not escape rooms, but close. Okay. That should be interesting. Um in the meantime, Thank you for stopping by Errant Knight and Rubinsky. And uh, Ariel was here briefly. I appreciate you being here. Oh my gosh. Sleepy. Um, everybody have a great week uh, going into Monday tomorrow. Um, stay safe, stay hydrated. Don't do anything you don't want to explain to the paramedics. And uh, yeah, let's see, uh, nothing special coming up for me. Although it will be February, right? Yeah, Thursday is February 1st, so we'll finally be out of January. January has seemed kind of long to me. Anyway, I'll see you Thursday, same time, 7 p.m. Central. Deuces, have a good night.